गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल कवर चैप्टर फोर्टीन ऑफ अवर स्पॉट ट्यूटोरियल अबाउट शफल्स तो शफल्स इज एन इवेंट विच इज ट्रिगर्ड बाई सम ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एज वी हैव नोन दैट द आर डी डीज वेन वी कॉल सम ऑफ द मेथड्स ऑन इट इट कैन रिजल्ट इन टू अर न्यू आर डी डी एंड एंड देर आर एक्शंस द एक्शंस आर अगेन सम अदर मेथड्स विच विल एक्चुअली रिड्यूस इट टू अ वैल्यू एंड इट विल एक्चुअली डू सम एक्शंस टू गेट सम सम वैल्यू इट कैन बी एनी मैप रिड्यूस फंक्शन और एनीथिंग सो दिस शफल्स दिस इज एन इवेंट विच कैन बी परफॉर्म्ड बाई एनी ऑफ दीज ऑपरेशन और द मेथड्स विच आर बींग कॉल्ड ऑन द आर डी डी फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रिपार्टीशन ऑपरेशन लाइक रिपार्टीशन दैट वी कॉल्ड प्रीवियसली इन आर प्रीवियस चैप्टर एंड कोलस सिमिलरली ऑल दो मेथड्स विच एंड्स बाय बाय की फॉर एग्जाम्पल से ग्रुप बाय की रेड्यूस बाय की सॉर्ट बाय की ऑल दिस ऑपरेशन ऑल दिस मेथड्स विल विच आर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस विल ऑल्सो ट्रिगर अ शफल इवेंट एंड सिमिलरली ज्वाइन ऑपरेशन लाइक को ग्रुप एंड ज्वाइन so what this shuffle means is that uh, because as we have known that we have got our rdd and an rdd in the in the big uh, data context would be quite huge right it can be containing millions or billions of data and the rdd would be spread across several worker nodes that we have worker nodes and let's revise our main diagram again that we have this is our whole uh, uh, spark uh, spark uh, environment where we have got this driver program and this driver program is like the entry point just like a database connection pool we got a spark context we got a cluster manager which, uh, which uh, talks to all the worker nodes that has been created so all this execute all these worker nodes would be having their own executors cache task and etc and uh, whenever the data is like uh, like transformed into like rdd and a lot of transformations will trigger some more rdds across all the worker nodes so whenever any any of these uh, transformations or actions or uh, uh, methods are being called like repartition group by key reduce by key this will actually trigger the shuffle event which is actually redistributing data so that it's grouped differently across partitions this is very important so whenever this is triggered i mean whenever we have this group by key reduce by key all those like or type of operation which are also called wider transformation this will cause shuffling of data across all the partitions for example if i call reduce by key all the data there in partition 1 2 and 3 and 4 the data would be shuffled across to uh, surface this uh, reduce by key operation this will will uh, go in details very soon uh, but just think about it as it's actually shuffling of data across partitions which is a very costly operation and we should be quite careful that uh, whenever we are calling say for example group by key or reduce by key what is the what is the performance impact because group by key is is something which is like uh, not well written and should be always avoided and we should always try to use some other mechanism or some other uh, other steps or other actions uh, methods to uh, to actually not use this group by key but use reduce by key or like sort by key or some other or, or aggregate by key so we should be very careful when we are actually trying to call all these of uh, methods that we discussed and also like measure the performance and which and try to like reduce the minimum uh, the impact to, to to its minimal so let's take the example of reduce by key taking the example that we covered in chapter 10 pair rdds uh, reduce by key this is one of the wider transformation that that takes place and it actually triggers the shuffle operation so let's revise it first so suppose i have got a big uh, file uh, here and i call this text file and i get a java rdd which contains all the lines of this file um so after this actually i call this map to pair on all the lines java rdd that i got and just remember that this java rdd is like this that it it can be it's a very big file this can be a huge rdd spread across several worker nodes okay so uh so this lines java rdd is there with a java rdd string we call map to pair map to pair actually generates java pair rdd and here what i'm doing is that uh, for each of the lines i'm calculate the length of that line as a key uh, and it's uh, the values marked as one then i will reduce th- by this particular length of the all the line along with and then i will calculate the sum of it so this is my reduce operation so it will give me the total strings of length say for example 3 4 5 uh, and the value would be uh, the count of all those uh, strings of that particular length so this is what uh, the reduce by key is happening and uh, is doing and uh, this reduce by key is actually triggering lot of uh, shuffle operations so how it is creating shuffle because 
right now just believe that because we just discussed that we have got this uh, like the keys uh, for all that uh, lines or the, the, the length of all those lines which are spread across various rdds right so for example say a key of uh, length 3 uh, a, a line of uh, length 3 could be spread across not only partition 1 but 2 3 and 4 as well right uh, so there should be a mechanism when the reduce by keys that we should be like Uh, taking all the keys across all the partitions and group it somewhere. First of all, we need to we need a mapping op mapping operation that we have to like map all those uh, key of particular length across all the partitions. And after then, we have to like group group them. So like first is map, then group, and then again we have to reduce it, reduce it by uh, the count of all those uh, strings of that particular length. So we are uh, so in internally when we call reduce by key, we are calling three operations: map, reduce, group by, and then reduce it. and then finally uh, so all these operations because uh, the keys can be like spread across multiple partitions shuffling of data is essential here otherwise we will not get the correct results so we have to like shuffle the data i mean uh, spark internally it will shuffle all the data across all the partitions and then finally give the final result which is uh, here we have got this counts that we are getting reduced by key uh, where we will get a java pair already again for each of the unique lengths along with their count that how many time how many uh, how many uh, lengths of say sub number 3 4 5 are there in the whole file so this is reduced by key now again if i just go step by step let's discuss this one more time now the reduced by key method generates a new rdd because it's a transformation so it will always generate new rdd where all values for a single keys are combined into a tuple as we have seen that it's actually creating a tuple at the end when we call map to pair the key and the result of executing a reduce function against all values associated with the key because the challenge is that because this keys can be spread across multiple partitions but not reside, uh, residing on the same partitions so it has to shuffle it and it must read all the partitions to find all the values for all keys and then bring together values across partitions to compute the final result for each key this is called the shuffle operation now we we has we have mentioned that shuffle is an expensive operation because as you can see uh while we are trying to like read the data from multiple partitions a lot of disk io is involved uh because we have got this uh, all this like worker nodes which are across uh, all those like the whole cluster so each each worker node would be trying to fetch the data from their from its own uh, on its own partition and uh, it the lost a uh, lot of disk io is involved here as we know that disk io is very expensive operation and also we are like transferring the data across shuffling the data across various partitions it involves data serialization and deserialization of course i mean we have to like spread it to the network so we have to serialize and deserialize it and of course it will also require network io because all those worker nodes are at at uh, at, at different uh, across the, at the whole cluster so when creating an rdd spark does not necessarily store the data for all keys in the partition since at the time of creation there is no way we can set the key for the data set so all these operations are bound to happen um, and the, that that it uh, makes it like a very expensive operation so uh, also i mean because there are this lot of data so what happens is that when we have store all the data into like one partition to calculate the final uh, values uh, reduction in that case a uh, lot of data i mean spark will always try to like uh, optimize it at at its maximum so what it tries to do is, is that it will try to store all the data in it internal into its own internal memory but if the data is very huge only then it will spill over all those extra data to the disk that's where the latency comes um so this is what is mentioned here that the results of the, of the map task are kept in memory when results do not fit in memory spark stores the data on a disk and also whatever that data um, so that i mean it also like stores that data somewhere in the cache as well uh, so that i mean if the if somebody asks the same uh, operation again uh, to just to save some time it will try to optimize it and get the data from the cache from the cache it has stored before and this also also trigger if the data is not used and it's just just lying there because we have done a lot of mapping and uh, after that once the reduction is done we got the result all that data can be stored in the cache but after some time uh the garbage collection will trigger again and garbage collection we already know that it's it's, it's quite an ex expensive operation it will uh, stop the world and try to like reduce the memory as as much as possible so these are the things uh, i mean uh, just to like understand that whenever we should be uh, whenever we are using any by key operation or repartition and coalesce or any type of joining operation 
join and co-group co all these type of transformations are called wider transformations because it will trigger a shuffle operation shuffle event which is very expensive and so we should be very careful when we are using it so in the next video we will see actually write, write some code and actually uh, all see all this shuffle operations and what is the performance impact